How's it going, people? I'm just uh, going to chew through all these tracks, and then I'll get back to my DNC explorations. <laughs> uh, anyway, we got Christian track that's going to teach us all about freedom. <laughs> Isn't that rich? Yeah. There are many holidays in America that are celebrations of freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and freedom to do just about anything you want to do. Yeah, slippery slope there, huh? But are you really free, huh? The Bible says that we are slaves, slaves to sin, and that you can hear about that in like Romans 6, 15 through 22. What is sin? Sin is violating God's law, the Ten Commandments, and that's, um, they get that from Galatians 3, 19. Need proof you are a slave to sin? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the Bible says, that's your proof, the Bible says? That's not evidence. That's not proof of anything except that the Bible says something. The Bible says you shall not bear false witness. In other words, you shall not lie. Oh, we're in Ray Comfort territory now, aren't we? How many times have you told lies in your life? How about stealing? Have you ever taken God's name in vain? Maybe once or twice. <laughs> oh, I just lied. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, how'd that happen? God damn it. Um, have you ever looked with lust and big Sexual desire, in parentheses, in case you don't know what lust means. I do. Uh, and anyone you are not married to? The Bible says, Whosoever looks upon a woman with lust in his heart has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Um... What about the reverse? It never states the reverse, because this is a book, the Bible is a book written by men for men. And whenever they say anything that has anything to do with women, it says, and men, make sure your women do this shit. Yeah. Yeah, so. Anyway, that's a hobby I actually enjoy, looking with lust. <laughs> yeah. So I'm only guilty of thought crimes. <sighs> If you are guilty of these, then you are a slave to sin and enjoying every minute of it. God tells us that all liars, drunks, the sexually immoral, thieves, etc. See, they get you in the etc. category. Everybody falls in the etc. category. Uh, will end up in the lake of fire. Uh, Eternal hell. That's from Revelations 21 8 and 1 Corinthians 6 9 and 10. The Bible makes it clear that we have to be pure to go to heaven. The problem is that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and that's Romans 3 23. You know, if, if we are not perfect enough to go to heaven and God made us imperfect, Whose fault would that be if all this shit were actually true? Hmm? A few verses before that, we also find these condemning words. There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who seeks after God. There is none who does good, no, not one. In fact, the Bible says, as far as, wait, for as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, <sighs> Cursed is anyone who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law 
to do them. And that's Galatians 3.10. God will justly, justly judge you. God will justly judge you when you die. And none who are unholy will enter heaven. Which is like somewhere up there. Um, as Hebrews 9.27. We have to be holy to go to heaven. <laughs> there is hope. Good. God lowered himself to become a man, Jesus Christ. <sighs> he did what no other man could. He lived a perfect life. He never sinned. Then he shed his blood and died on the cross, paying the penalty for sin. After three days, he rose from the dead, defeating death. His blood will make us holy. So do as the Bible says, repent and have faith in Jesus Christ. Stop living a lifestyle of sin. And start living one of denial of reality. Live a lie. Turn from your sin and start living for God. Apparently that's the, uh, the Abrahamic God. <laughs> There's so many, but they think just saying God means that automatically we're talking about that Sky Daddy and not all the others who came before and after. Deny yourself and take up your cross daily and follow Him. And that's Luke 9.23. Humble yourself. Realize you are created to glorify God. If God is all powerful and all glorious, and we're so such filthy rags and so inglorious, that doesn't really make any sense, then, does it? No, we were created to kiss God's ass. <laughs> That's how you glorify Him. No wonder He's always showing His backside to Moses. <laughs> hindquarters. Um, true freedom is only found in Jesus Christ, so be his bitch. <laughs> Please visit the good person test. I already did the good person test. Oh, it's these guys. I remember them. <laughs> anyway, we're burning through these, and that's the end of this one. It really had nothing to do with freedom at all, did it? more about slavery and superstitious nonsense. Nice try. Anyway, there's another one down. And peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, because damn it, I want you to. And I want me to also.